एवरीवन वेलकम टू ग्रोहन मुंबई म्युनिसिपल कॉर्पोरेशन वर्चुअल ट्रेनिंग सेंटर एंड आई एम मिसेस नेहल कोडांबे योर इंग्लिश टीचर फ्रॉम वीटीसी लेट्स बिगिन विथ टुडे सेशन हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू टुडे सेशन सी चिल्ड्रन व्हाट कैन यू से इन दिस पिक्चर यू मस्ट हैव प्लेड दिस गेम व्हेन यू वेर इन स्टैंडर्ड फर्स्ट और सेकेंड ओके मराठी मध्य बन कान गोष्टी न खेल खेल तो एक एक वाक्य सुरुआत कराएँ वाक्य दुसर काना बोला कर जितकी मुल खेल पार्टिसिपेट होता सगड़ी पुढ़ा 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 प्लेयर कानाते वक्य संगत जा मग सगड़ा काना संगून जा शेवटा मुला वाक्य मोटा उच्चारा तो लास्ट प्लेयर विल बी अटर दैट सेंटेन्स लाउडली एंड देन यू एन्जॉय दैट गेम ओके बिकॉज इट इज अ गेम वी टेक इट वेरी स्पोर्टिंगली शेवटच जे मुलगा जो वाक्य उच्चारे तो कहीं तरी भलत वाक्य अपने काना सो इन दिस वे इफ इट इज गेम देन इट इज ओके वी एन्जॉय दैट बट इन रियालिटी इन अवर रियल लाइफ This game is very horrible because if you start talking about someone or about something and which is not true, which is not proved, then it will be reflected as a lie. Okay, so it is a proverb in English that, or you can say a quotation in English, a lie can. Run around the world before truth has got its boots on. Okay, it is said that a lie, a lie, it travels so fast that even if you think about the truth, what will be the fact behind that? It has reached all around the world. So it is known as. We were talking about you can prove through this picture. See, if a man he starts talking about something which he is not sure whether it is true or not, and if he share that news with suppose in this picture you can see three people, okay? From these three people, it will be shared among nine people. These nine people. will share that news without making it prove whether it is fact or not whether it is reality or not they will be that news will be shared among so many people and then that news will be shared among so many people right so it is called what quotation we have seen in the beginning that a lie can run around the world run around the world before the truth has got its boots on so a lie or a rumor it travels very fast and people are very interested without making sure about it they are spreading this news and they are sharing this news with each and every one and while sharing this news each one adds something to it okay so rumors are very dangerous see children nowadays we all are uh, handling or we all are on the social networking sites right now we all are going through pandemic and in the beginning when this horrible situation started you can see so many news were spreading on the social networking site and then police department has to look into this matter and then they banned it or they stopped this okay sometimes we read or we listen through the many medias that is from newspaper or television that do not believe the rumors afwan na bali padu naka because it may cost to your life also so that's what we are going to learn in today's session so here we can see some more 
information about how dangerous the rumor is or what is a rumor is a piece of information or a story passed from one person to another without any proof that is true okay it is called a rumor in marathi we call it afwa a piece of information or a story most of the time it is story okay passed from one person to another without any proof that it is true it is not proven whether it is true or not it is called a rumor or you can see one more definition here rumors are as dumb as the people who started them and as fake as the people who help spread them okay so my dear children i personally request you that unless and until you are sure about anything do not share it with someone else so here in today's session my dear children we will learn a story which will prove that how dangerous those rumors are and it is written in the story the boy who broke the bank the story is in a very humorous way but it of course it gives us the message about how dangerous the rumors are but here in this story the writer of the story has told us in a humorous way or the funniest way okay so let's know more about the writer who has written the story you can see the writer of our story the boy who broke the bank and his name is ruskin bond who is born in 1934 and is an indian author of british descent vamshase british vamshase pan bhartiya lekhak he lives with his adopted family in london in masuri india masuri a very beautiful place the indian council for child education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in india so he has contributed a large for the child education and indian council for child education has noticed this they have taken the note on this and he was awarded with many honorable rewards he got the sahitya academy award in 1992 for our tree still growing dehra then he was also was awarded by padma shri and padma bhushan honorable awards respectively in 1999 and 2014 so that is the short description or we know about our today's stories the author now let's begin with the story natu grumbled to himself as he swept the steps of pipal nagar bank owned by set gobind ram he used the small broom hurriedly and carelessly and the dust after rising in a cloud above his head settled down again on the steps so you can see in picture a boy whose name is nathu okay he was grumbling he was showing that he is very critical he is very angry with the situation why was he angry we will come to know but you hear from his act we can come to know that he is not happy while doing his work so he was grumbling to himself okay swatash is bolo beta and what was he doing he was sweeping the steps of the bank so here we will come to know that he is working for a bank and the name of that bank is pp bank is pipal nagar bank who was owned by the said govind ram so you know there are very small banks and which is owned by some individuals so in those days this story is from olden days and he used the small broom hurriedly and carelessly he was not very uh, keen about his work and the dust after rising in a cloud above his head settled down again on the steps means he was not doing his work with heart for the name sake just he was sweeping the steps of the banks 
while he was sleeping the pet while he was doing his work what happened then you can see a fellow who is he look carefully at him see what he has in his hand yes an iron so he is sitaram he was on his delivery round he was giving the delivery of the clothes to the people which he has taken for ironing he had a bundle of freshly pressed clothes balanced on his head you can see the bundle of clothes on his head and what did he say to nathu we will read it he told nathu what did he tell nathu or he asked something to nathu he said don't raise such dust are you annoyed because they are still refusing to pay you an extra 2 rupees a month he is asking nathu that why are you so angry you are annoyed because they are still refusing they means the bank people to pay you an extra 2 rupees a month see the salary or the wages or the value of 2 rupees so in those days even a rupee has a lot of value so he the nathu has asked to raise his salary just by 2 rupees but the bank people were not ready to do that and sitaram was aware of this so he is asking ki tu ka evda chidlays tula 2 rupee vadavun te daila tanni nakar dila manun chidlays ka then what did nathu replied on his question sitaram asked him sitaram told him first of all he told him don't raise such dust why are you raising such dust then he asked him are you annoyed because they are still refusing to pay you an extra 2 rupees a month he thought that nathu has asked him in raise in salary by 2 rupees see nowadays you will laugh what only 2 rupees increase or increment but this story is from olden days so even the rupee has a lot of value or importance so when he heard his question what was his answer what did nathu say he said i don't wish to talk about it he was so annoyed that he doesn't wish to talk about on the topic he said i haven't even received my regular pay leave the thing the increase in salary but they till they have not paid me i haven't even received my regular pay and this is the 20th of month that 20th of the month means date okay who would think a bank would hold up a poor man's salary when the bank is dealing with the money and i am such a poor man i am a sweeper but still they are not paying my salary no one can think about this as soon as i get my money i am off i am off means i will go i am not going to wait here not another week i work in this place he doesn't want to continue with his work with the bank he said as soon as they'll pay me my salary i'm going to leave this job and i'll go from this place then you know what is nathu's problem then see that good hearted person what did he said well i wish you luck okay he wish him good luck and he continued with that i'll keep you a lookout i'll keep a lookout for any jobs that might suit you so he assured him that he'll keep a lookout he will try to find a good job which will suit to nathu here in a suitable job to nathu he plodded along the road plodded means walked heavily because of clothes bundle of clothes on his head and at the fourth home he visited he was going home to home for delivering the iron clothes press clothes he heard the lady of the house mention that she was in need of a sweeper so he heard that that lady of that house was telling someone that she is in need of a sweeper so what did he said he told that lady I know of a sweeper boy who is looking for work. He can start from next month because that was the twentieth day of the 
month so he was so wise see he said he can start from next month he is with the bank just now but they aren't giving him his pay that and he wants to leave so here sitaram is talking about nathu when he heard the lady of the house was in need of a sweeper he told her that i know of a sweeper boy who is looking for work but he even continued with that that he can start from next month not very soon and he he gave information provided information about that boy that he is with the bank just now but they aren't giving him his pay and he wants to leave now see here the story started with this man sitaram now he is talking about nathu okay now pay attention listen carefully so when that lady heard this she said is that so well tell him to come and see me tomorrow that lady said it's okay if he wants to if he wish to work with us from next month no issues then uh, tell him to come and see me tomorrow so that they, we can discuss about salary and all and sitaram glad that he had been of service to both he has helped to both to a customer that is the lady and his friend and he hoisted his bag on his shoulder and went his way you can see here now he kept hoisted means raised to the height of the position he kept the bundle on his shoulder and he went away he went his way okay then after that what happened how the story takes its turn had talk about nathu and he went his way then mrs shrivastav to whom sitaram was talking this is one more character from this story she gave some instructions to her house help to her aya about looking after the baby and told the cook not to be late with the midday meal so here you can notice one thing my dear children that the author of the story is providing us so small small we can say petty details about the characters of the story and here look at the things how the story gets developed so the character's name you can see here she is mrs srivastava and now she had to do some shopping she wants to go to the market and before she leave to market she instructs she gives instruction to her house help that is the aya who looks after her baby and she had a one more house help that is the cook who was cooking her at her home and she told her that not to be late with the midday meal afternoon meal and then she went out or she set out for the pipal nagar market place to make her customary tour of the cloth shop so here we can see mrs shrivastav has left for the market where she is to go make her customary tour of the cloth shop customary usual or habitual okay always she used to go to the cloth shop in the pipal nagar market Vastav has come into the market, and here you can see a tamarind tree in Sita's heart. And here you can notice, my dear children, that as I told you earlier, author is keeping in front of us the small, small details so that we can visualize this scene very well. Okay, how he describes this scene? A large, shady tamarind tree grew at one end of the bazaar. bazaar see here at some places even he has used some regional language words too and it was here that mrs shrivastav found her friend mrs bhushan you can see one more lady in the picture her name is mrs bhushan who was sheltering from the heat so whenever it is very hot we find 
the shelter under the tree so likewise she was standing under the shady tree of the tamarind and their conversation begins there she complained of the summer which she affirmed was definitely the hottest in the history of people nagar now see when two elderly people they meet each other they start with the topic of climatic situation how hot it is how cold it is how rainy day it was and so on so likewise they started their conversation with the climatic situation mrs bhushan told mrs shrivastava so that it it seems it is the hottest day of the history of the people nagar and they started their conversation there and then mrs bhushan showed mrs shrivastava so a sample of the cloth she was going to buy as they were standing in the market for different purpose they had come to the market and mrs bhushan wanted to buy some cloth and she showed that sample of the cloth to mrs shrivastava and for 5 minutes they discussed its shape its texture and the design but mrs shrivastava was not interested in that topic she well, she got bored she got exhausted so she changed the topic and what did she told mrs Sh- bhush and let's read she said do you know my dear that set govind ram's bank can't even pay its employees only this morning i hears a complaint from their sweeper who hasn't received his wages for over a month see here the story begins now what did sitaram told mrs shrivastava that he knew a boy who wished to leave the job with the bank because they hasn't they haven't paid him okay and now here mrs shrivastava added her own words and what did she told mrs bhushan that do you know my dear that said govind ram's bank can't even pay its employees means they are short of money only this morning only this morning means today morning i hears a complaint that their sweeper who hasn't received his wages for over a month so now she is sharing the news of not getting salary from the bank to the sweeper and then what happened then when mrs shrivastava told or shared that news with mrs bhushan how was her reaction just look at her she said shocking she exclaimed shocking if they can't pay the sweeper they must be in a bad way so now here what they are deciding about the bank when they do not know anything about the bank how is the financial situation of the bank both of the ladies they don't have an idea about it but still they are giving their expert remark on the situation financial condition of the bank if they can't pay the sweeper they must be in a bad way they must be in a bad way means in a bad condition none of others could be getting paid either even a small poor sweeper is not getting his salary in time then what other must be getting it is very sure none of the others could be getting paid either ata ya don stryanni ikade aap apli experts opinion dayla suruvat keli काहीच माहीत नव्हतं सीतारामनी ना तुला त्याची सॅलरी मिळाली नाही म्हणून तो शो सोडतोय जॉब एवढंच सांगितलं होतं पण आता इथे श्रीवास्तवने मिसेस भूषणला सांगितल्यावर तिने स्वतःच तिथे मत व्यक्त केलं की इवन दे इफ दे कांट पे द स्वीपर दे मस्ट बी इन अ बॅड वे इन अ बॅड फायनान्शियल कंडिशन नन ऑफ द अदर्स कुड बी गेटिंग पेड आय दर जर एका स्वीपरला सॅलरी देऊ शकत नाही तर कोणाची सॅलरी त्यांना देणं परवडत नसेल किंवा आता या सिच्युएशन मध्ये शक्य नसेल अँड देन शी लेफ्ट मिस श्रीवास्तव ऍट द टायमर इन ट्री अँड वेंट इन सर्च ऑफ हर हजबंड सो हियर शी हॅड कम विथ हर हजबंड इन द मार्केट 
and when she was standing under a tamarind tree then she met with mrs shrivastav mrs shrivastav shared the news of natu to her and after that she left mrs shrivastav near that tamarind tree and she went in search of her husband so here what we have to stop this is the first part of the story so we will continue what happened after that in our second part so be watching and before that you go through the story from the book and you find out some words that is used by author which words the regional language words either it is in hindi okay but that, those words are not from originally not from english okay so that's all for today that's all for today so you will revise whatever we have learned in today's session please subscribe the channel and press the notification button to get the link of next video bye bye